Game rental slash offline activation service. Basically, any game you can imagine. Uh, I have that, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1, 2, 3, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Avatar Phantoms of Pandora, and many more. So, if you are interested in that, you can comment down below or join my Discord and come to the particular group. Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another updated episode 3 video and we are back with uh, Horizon Forbidden West. So I have uh, managed to figure out why the frame generation was uh, feeling so stuttery and laggish. Uh, so yeah we will talk everything uh, about the bug and uh, the mod in this video. We are gonna use an older version of uh, Lux mod which is uh, 0 0.73 to 20 zip. So yeah, first uh, I'm just gonna show you my settings, and uh, after pasting the most, we will talk about like what went wrong and what was the main culprit of uh, like uh, using the mod. So there you can see I'm playing on high preset right now uh, with uh, 1080p, and the PS I'm getting around is quite low. You can see the video is feeling a little bit uh, jittery and laggish, maybe uh, around 40 fps. 40 45 uh, so yeah uh, let's uh, install the older mod and after that uh, we will tweak some in-game setting and talk about it also one more thing i forgot to mention that if you are on rtx gpu uh, you may not need this file you can just use this updated mod for uh, nvidia gpus like uh, in this one uh, i have added some more files so you can just paste this one and use the dlss frame generation or ta frame generation that will be good for the rtx gpus We will also use the XCSS 1.3 because FSR is just a little bit shimmery. So yeah, if you have not downloaded the XCSS to your uh, Forbidden West, just download this and also download this FSR 3 Forbidden West 0 0.73. Uh, so we're gonna extract both zip to the desktop. Then first we're gonna copy the Forbidden West uh, FSR 3 uh, files. Then we're gonna go to the installation directory which is here now we're gonna paste this here after that uh, we will also copy the xcss dll so it will ask you to overwrite maybe because you already got the xcss so yeah you need to override it xcss 1.3 is very good in terms of the upscaling and everything it's a little bit smooth but you can sharpen it always like using the in-game sharpener scaler and everything so yeah let's start the game and uh, i will show you like which things you need to uh, fix in game to make the mod work One more thing uh, before starting the game, just uh, make sure that uh, your upscaling is not set to DLSS. Because with this version, if you set the upscale to DLSS, your game will straight crash. So, yeah, uh, maybe use FSR2 or XCSS, totally up to you. Also, enable the frame generation. Click OK. Now we're gonna. Now before starting the game and show you the FPS and everything, uh, we will need to fuse, tweak few settings. Uh, so you're gonna go to the setting, then uh, graphics. So first uh, we will need to set the preset on low quality because there is a culprit, I don't know which one, maybe the terrain quality or maybe the hair quality or something was causing the jitter and uh, slowish or laggish. Uh, movement in the game so yeah first we're gonna set everything on low then we're gonna turn few things on medium just to uh, like uh, preserve the quality so also i am guessing that most of you are playing on a low end or mid end card like gtx 1050 1650 or 1660 because if you are on rtx card you won't be need this mod and if you are on gtx or uh, amd card uh, like mid end card you are already i think playing on low or medium so yeah we're gonna turn few things back like the texture quality the filtering maybe on 4x the shadow you can keep it on low uh, we're gonna turn on the screen space reflection turn on the ambient occlusion to ssao after that screen space special reflection to low 
then we're gonna turn level of detail to medium hair quality to medium because you know uh, you are seeing most of the time alloys here uh, so yeah uh, we're gonna and we're gonna leave everything on low because these settings might some something is culprit in this one i haven't found this but yeah uh, we're gonna set this setting and then we're gonna go back to the game and now you can feel the smoothness i think in the video uh the pieces also has increased because uh, yeah mm, we have lowered some textures and also enabled the frame generation so yeah now you can feel the smoothness in the video i don't know how much of it is uh, showing in the video but yeah i can definitely feel the smoothness with this one so you can also use the fsr also i will show you it uh, like we are on xcss we can also use the fsr also but do not switch to dlss if you switch to dlss the game will crash so yeah fsr uh, will shimmer a little bit like uh, look at the alloys here uh, it will shimmer a little bit but yeah uh, if you want to use fsr you can use it or maybe stick with the dlss uh, sorry xcss 1.3 that is uh, way more far more better uh, i think so yeah we're gonna use the xcss you can also use the ultra quality ultra quality plus plus whichever you want like if you have a good gpu you want a little bit uh, closer to native fps you can use ultra quality plus and uh, with that frame generation on and you can use a little bit sharpness uh, to the game because the xcss 1.3 blurs up a little bit so yeah maybe three level of sharpness will fix the issue so yeah it, there you can see it's getting a little bit lower fps like 76 78 but look at the alloys here it's not shimmering anymore and uh, you know the textures are very good like close to native close to dla so yeah uh, so i think uh, this video will help uh, many of you and uh, yeah if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel you can comment down below if you are facing any kind of issue and use these zips and the methods we just uh, which i just told you and you'll be good to go uh, until then uh, if uh, any more update comes in this game i will sure to update it and uh, share it with you guys so until then cheers and happy gaming